Hello, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. On my channel today I've got a very special guest. It's the summer holidays on the Isle of Wight as I record this. Uh, kids around are playing, enjoying a barbecue. And Ian Anderson Gray from IAG.me is here. Uh, he does all kinds of great stuff with social media, but he's also a fantastic baritone singer. Ian, explain to us what exactly I'm going to demonstrate using your voice in this video. So I've been demonstrating something called polyphonic singing, which is a way of getting different notes. Uh, they, they're basically called harmonics. And I've been experimenting in sing, singing the same pitch, but making that different harmonics louder and louder. So R is a very uh, open vowel sound, has low harmonics, and E is very bright uh, sound and, and has very high harmonics. So if I'm going, uh, changing the different vowel sounds, we can almost sing little tunes with harmonics. So it's, it's a really good fun uh, way to, to play with your voice and to, to get, get a really nice bright sound. Fantastic, so when I go into the spectral pitch display, spectral frequency display, I'm expecting to see beautiful art created by your voice, right? Absolutely, yes, yeah. so from R to E, you'll see the harmonics go up in the volume of the higher harmonics will come up. So you'll see a nice little pattern going upwards. All right, fantastic, let's get stuck in. There you go, Ian Anderson Gray giving a great example of how polyphonic singing works. Now let's just have a mess about in Adobe Audition and see what Ian has created here. And I have to say, it really does look like a piece of art here. It's just amazing. Look, look at the patterns there in spectral frequency. Obviously, I turn this on, clicking this button up here or Shift and D to get my spectral frequency display. Let's have a quick listen to Ian here. Ah. And what beautiful patterns that actually makes. But that's not all. I can check this polyphonic singing out further by switching over to this one, the spectral pitch display. And look at that. So there obviously is the initial, the, the bass note, I guess, that Ian is singing. And there are all the harmonies. Uh, as you can see, uh, you've got the notes over here. It's just stunning. I have to say, before I created this video and chatted to Ian about it, I'd never heard of polyphonic singing before. So one more thing I can do is uh, I can actually highlight and isolate parts of Ian's singing. So let's do that and listen to how it sounds. There we go, down at the bottom end and wow. Wow. <laughs> Amazing to analyze all of those notes. And uh, let's find something else. Maybe let's go into the second track and uh, look at these patterns here. I mean, this is just stunning stuff. Now, uh, in all honesty, that sounds like a, a native chant of some type. <laughs> but if I uh, highlight here, wow. We're getting the tones isolated inside Ian's voice. It sounds like something out of... Um, a space program, doesn't it? Space exploration. <laughs> but it's very, very cool. Wow. Polyphonic singing. Beautiful. Uh, so thank you to Ian Anderson Gray for recording these samples and introducing us to what exactly polyphonic singing is. He's a great chap. Highly recommend that you go and check him out over at a very short URL. It's IAG. Dot me. That's I-A-G dot me. And if you want to learn more about polyphonic singing, Ian made me aware of a fantastic video by a lady called Anna Marie. She's a bit of a machine when generating these polyphonic notes. Uh, she can do it really well, although I have to say here, Ian has done it himself really well. Look at this. Uh, so go and check out Anna Marie's video. Uh, there'll be a link at the end of this video for you to go and watch that and discover even more about polyphonic singing. Oh.